Hello, this is not a spring chicken. Have you gotten your tickets to go see The Dark Knight Rises? Actually, the big news today is, shall we just call it a midnight shootout? Yes, at midnight, midnight showings for The Dark Knight. Somebody took, well, actually, how many people did they kill? 12 and shot 40 others. Can you believe this is atrocious? So they're considering canceling all the screenings today, which you're waiting to hear from, as well as the Paris premiere. Meanwhile, we're going to bring Old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. The, the Dark Knight, and then we'll do the, uh, the, the thing on Republicans. I forgot to put it again. It's all over for the Republicans. So we'll do Dark Knight, which is political correctness. And the movie may be called The Dark Knight Rises, but it could be The Dark Knight Closes Amid Gunfire. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm from Old World Hollywood. Uh, old World Hollywood would have looked at this as, an, as a big PR thing. I mean, they used to kidnap people and do all sorts of things. Are you serious? A movie oh, God. This is, the PR people were really vicious back when I was growing up. Uh, but um, it's political correctness going completely crazy. That you got, I, I feel very sorry for the people that got killed. And I'm very sorry for the people that got injured. But for Christ's sake, it's not a world-shattering event to some idiot shoots up a, a theater. I mean, it, it's been done, it will be done again. And um, they were unregistered weapons, which means gun laws wouldn't have had the slightest effect on them because he brought them, as they understand, he brought them in from another country, which the gun laws would have had no effect on him. So, but, um, you know, it, it's, you, you cannot bring the world to a halt. The President of the United States is suspending his campaign today so that he can go back and work on gun control legislation because it's the most important thing in our nation right now. Not the economy, but gun control legislation, of which they have enough of. You know, they're, they're just thinking at something else other than the economy. Other than the economy. About. So the President is once again taking advantage. He's going to take advantage of a tragedy. This is what scares people. They think he's actually going to get into a war in order to, to, to keep from losing his job in office. Oh, is that, that, mo that movie Wag the Dog? Yeah. But he, I'm going to try to the people on the left. As long as you control the Senate, he is President for life. You man you love to be the president for life will be there as long as you hold the Senate. So worry about the Senate seats, not his seat, because he's he just having fun going out there and telling people what he intends to do to the country. And Japan's atomic disaster was preventable, the report says. Well, you know, everything is preventable. I mean, uh, if you didn't get on the Titanic, you wouldn't have sank with it. If you didn't go to that movie theater, you wouldn't have got shot. Everything is preventable, but it doesn't mean it could have been prevented. There's a difference between preventable and could have been. Yeah, like that car accident could have been prevented if you never drove. Well, like that. Like <laughs> or rode people. in a car, right? Yeah. I'm, okay, out with my wife. If I hadn't have made a left turn, our car wouldn't have been hit into the side. That, you know, if I had simply went straight ahead and not went to the left, I would have never been had a woman who ran a stoplight would have hit me. And NATO, six service members killed in Afghanistan. Yeah. There, that's you know, <laughs> the, you know. Okay, yeah, I think it's been six, seven, six, and um, they're every day. Okay, they know that Obama is on the run, and okay, I had the fortune of being in in um, Saigon when the American troops pulled out, and they were running with their tails between their legs, folks, because our government had decided to pull out and just leave everybody hanging. They're doing it in Afghanistan. The Taliban knows we're running. And they're going to kick our ass at every day as we leave. Mm. And, Egypt. and it's all over for the Republicans. Yeah, even though it shows Romney now is saw, is, is he's now out of the margin for error everywhere. And he's taking, um, I think like one of the guys said, it's beginning to look like it's going to be a rock for Romney because the majority of the people no, no longer hold, they do not hold Bush responsible, they don't hold the Republican responsible, they hold him responsible because the man hasn't even met with his job counsel in a half a year. He is totally, he doesn't give a damn about whether people are working or not, just as long as he can be president. And, he, and even that he doesn't do well. You know, he, this morning, he, I love this this morning, another gaffe, which is not a gaffe, he, he's on camera talking to the teleprompter and then he walks off to the teleprompter and says, I'm all for small businesses, but they have to understand they're going to have to contribute to helping others. And then as soon as he said it, they said you could solve the, uh, oh my God. And then they, they said to people, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. You know, so, oh, 
And then he continues on with what he was supposed to say. And then they said, this is going to be taken out of context by the Romney campaign. No, they're just saying what he said. When a man gets off a teleprompter, he's mean-spirited and he tells the absolute truth of what he... When he's on camera, okay, they're actually, you know, okay, they, they're wanting him to be the next Batman because... Uh, oh, they are? Oh, yesterday, Chris Matthews said, we've only ever had one perfect man ever born and that was Jesus Christ until Barack Obama came. He said, this what? man is loved universally. This man is he's a perfect family man. He has never done anything wrong in his life. I guess they sort of forgot the criminal element that he was growing up, that he basically was pushing drugs and stuff. And he'd broken so many laws, but only, now only Christ, now he now ranks with Christ on the books of, of Democrats. They, he is not going to be removed. I mean, I'm, I'm betting that if the Democrats don't take the Senate and Republicans throw him out, he's still not going to leave. He's going to go to court and try to invalidate the election, saying it was racist, mm -hmm. and will tie up. But since they've tied the system up, he would still set as president until the court threw his ass out. Mm -hmm. so. And Muslim rights group blast House Republicans. Well, yeah, because they dared to they dared to question why they aren't doing enough to solve the problem with the Muslim. Okay, there, there we have right wing extremism in our country. They said the Muslims are basically now a protected organization by Barack Hussein Obama. And they said that they did not do a proper investigate. They, they're going to throw the case out against the guy that killed the people of Fort Hood because of an improper investigation by the uh, authorities that the Justice Department continually interfered with and therefore made it uh, not information used, not usable. So they're going to basically, they've already, Egyptians, Egypt has already asked that he be sent over there to serve his time. And Obama's going to do it, just like the people over in... He's going to turn everyone loose in Guantanamo Bay to the Muslim extremists in Egypt. And Obama... Really? That's what he's planning to do, yep. And Obama vows to help bring Bulgaria attackers to justice. Well, there is no truth at all that when he heard that the Jews had been killed on the, the bus, that he got up on the top of the table and did an Irish jig. Well, because he does have Irish in his family because everyone knows how much he supports the, the, the Jews in Israel. And being vetted for VP, prepare to talk about sex. Why? I, I do not have, I have my doubts that Romney's never going to mention the word. Romney is a, Romney is a, um, a moderate Republican, but he has got awful, you know, Mormon religious views, which means you don't talk about things. I mean, they don't even drink in public, for Christ's sake. And UK police accuse three of Pakistan terror training. Yeah, because they're, they they mm -hmm. uh, it, England right now is filled full of terrorists that they can't locate. They know they're assuming there's going to make a they're going to do a strike on the opening of the Olympic Games because they're going to have so many people in this spot. I mean, I, I have relatives living there, and they said you can't even go to you can't go to London now. It's worse than during the uh, oh. the royal wedding because. It, 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 they, they're stopping them like 20 miles outside of the town for security checks. And by the time they get through with the stuff, you've missed what you were going to do, so you don't even bother going now. Because it takes so much planning. Yeah, in because they really check you out to see if you, if you should so, be. So the only way is to be in town inside the perimeter. If you're inside the perimeter, then you can go. And they've warned people, don't, don't, come, don't be in it. The best thing to do during the Olympics is leave town. So. Right, and there's different levels of perimeter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, it's an armed camp. I mean, there's, there's, a, there's as many soldiers sitting there as in major battles during World War II, setting in London. And the U.S. to Russia, Syria is out of control. Yeah, but um, I heard this morning a person say that, well, is this this is the beginning of the end for the Syrian? They said no, it's the beginning of the next stage where they're going to see who is going to control the country. You know, if they said, if the Iranians, the Chinese, and the Russians continue to support Assad, he wins the battle. And the U.S. government says Texas voter ID law targets minorities. They already lost that. Well, they lost it in Florida, and now they're targeting it. They're doing it in, in Basically, they lost it in the Ninth Court Sort of Appeals, which is liberal, because uh, they said, in the way to it, do... Um, is the voter ID identification free? Yeah. Said, can anyone pick it up free? Yes. How do you have to get it? Well, you have to have identification of any type. Birth certificate, telephone bill, you know. All you have to do is bring in something like that. You get an ID. 
but that it's illegal. No, mm -hmm. They lost it in Florida. Animonte bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Yeah, okay, here's a in a modern era, just because you think you saved something doesn't mean that you can find what you actually saved. 